All right, gang, Jeremy Hazel here for Seven Season Studios, and this is a lesson from our brand new course, Affinity Designer, How to Do Artistic Text and Font in Affinity Designer. So if you like this lesson and you want to learn more about Affinity Designer, go ahead and check out the link below for an exclusive offer for our YouTube folks. Other than that, let's go ahead and get into here and start rolling those credits. All right, let's create something. All right, gang, welcome back to Text and Affinity Photo. So in the last lessons, we got this far. I showed you how to nest an image into the text layer. So now we're gonna practice what we did on layers. Find the image of the elephant and hit your delete key. All right, back again. Now you see the texture layer for your metallics. Go ahead and click on the texture layer. It brings it up and then nest it into your metallic layer. All right, so I got text layer, texture layer, background. This key, folks, this is the basic flow for all sorts of text. If you get nothing else from this early lesson, realize that if you put your text layer on top, nest any texture inside of the text layer, and then go with the background, you will win every time. That is the basic structure for all artistic type of text in Affinity Designer and in most text programs. So this is the file structure you should strive to emulate. This is the common thread. All right, now I'm gonna show you the next step. I'm gonna show you something called adding an effect. So make sure the text layer is selected. Make sure the texture layer is nested inside the text. And now come up to effects. I'm going to show you one of the coolest things in here. With effects, hit the 3D button. Bam! 3D in text. Phenomenal. All right, now what happened to our layer panel? Notice here a little FX has been created. This says that this layer has an effect on it. Now, if you don't have the effects tab, go up to view, go to your studio, make sure effects is selected. Okay, now you see that this border, this bevel is kind of uninspiring. It's just kind of a little flat, a little bit meh. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So select your text layer. You see this little cog, click on it. All right, now you see the 3D is selected. That's the effect that you have applied. Watch what happens when you adjust this radius slider. Pow but it's round round is not really inspiring for metal okay so what you're gonna have to do we'll talk a lot more about this later but I want you to see how powerful this is click on profile and just choose a standard profile watch what happens whole different ball game now in your metallic text and go ahead and hit close Look at that. That thing is beefy. That thing is chunky. All right. So that's extremely powerful in terms of how to get your layer structure with an effect to create this metallic look. Now, we're not done here, right? We're going to take this. We're going to crank it up a notch. Let's go ahead and grab an outer shadow. Click on the effect of outer shadow. Increase the radius. Increase the opacity on the shadow and then kick the offset up a little bit. All right, so totally up to you in terms of your preference and your taste, but the shadow and the drop shadow is a nice way to take your text from boring and flat against the background to something stellar that stands out. Okay, so you now know using the exact simple text layer method, text layer, texture nested inside, background layer. It really is that simple, folks. Now, we're gonna show you to take you to zero from hero here. Stay with me. Let's say that you wanted to make transparent text, okay? You want a transparent background, watch this. Take the background, hit the delete key. Now you see you still got a white background. When you come up, go File, Export, and now when you click on PNG, right, 
Now you're saying, Jeremy, what is PNG? PNG supports transparency. This is the way you're going to export, but not yet. Stay with me, because you see you still have a white background. Go to File, Document Setup, go to Color, and click on Transparent Background. Hit OK. Now you are good to go. Affinity is now transparent on a background, and now we export to PNG. You must export to PNG. JPEG does not support transparency. Other than that, don't worry about any of these settings. And go ahead and hit export. Call this Affinity Metal. And go ahead, and I'm just going to put it in desktop, and I'm going to hit save. All right, folks. Now, this could not be cooler. If you had a website or you had a document that you wanted to use this on, you now have something that is transparent that you can take into any document, any PowerPoint presentation anywhere, and bring it in as an image. Let me show you. We're just going to go here. I'm going to go to Microsoft Office and we're going to click on the PowerPoint. All right. And again, you don't have to use Office. I'm just showing you what you might apply this to. And if you went into Insert Picture, we go to Desktop, and I find wherever it is that I put this Affinity Metal. Watch what happens. Pow. Instant metallic text for any sort of application that you're looking for. You might use this in Microsoft PowerPoint. You might use this in web design. But now you have a file that will last you the rest of your life. You officially made what is called an asset. Good for you. All right, folks, there's one project down. Let's go ahead and take the next step. And I'm going to show you how to apply this now in multiple areas of complexity. All right, have a good one.